Hello everyone, we are back. First, I would like to thank you guys for listening to the Bring More Productions podcast. And apologize for last week. Unfortunately, we didn't have an episode for last week, but we are back. We are preparing preparing for the sixth annual Bring More Productions fashion show here in Dallas. And as you guys know, um of me. Well, of course you guys don't know, but once the planning of the fashion show happens, my brain becomes the matrix and I have a lot of things going on because I want everything to be organized and structured and I want everyone that's involved to really get to experience um, a great memorable fashion event. So right now I'm the matrix. Um, But we have a special guest today, Idora of... Uh, Shoe Deal. She's the marketing director. And today we're going to speak about the state of retail. And I thought this would be the perfect conversation to have with Idora because she has had countless of years in the re- retail industry. <laughs> More than you know. And I'm going to allow her to introduce herself so you guys can get familiar with her. But from what I have gathered, she's educated. <laughs> she's black. <laughs> she's um Melanie Poppin. Fierce. <laughs> you definitely gotta learn from her. Aww. Um and most importantly, she supports. So I adore thank you for attending. Thank you for having me, Bree. Bring more production podcast. Thank you for coming mm-hmm. out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So um give the people an idea of who you are. Okay. Well, like you said, my name is Idora Caldwell, and I'm the marketing director for Shoe Deal Incorporated, which is basically, we're kind of renaming, re-branding uh, ourselves as the Fashion Nova of shoes, basically. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, we have six DFW locations here, of course, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and two locations in Houston. And, I mean, we pretty much sell everything from sandals, boots, uh, booties, uh, beautiful heels, um, shoot. We we sell everything. Yeah, sneakers, um... Classy shoes, sunglasses. club shoes, yes, yeah, sunglasses, purses. Um, yeah, we pretty much everything. I mean, we anything that a woman we sell women in young girl shoes from nine to four, and women's shoes from five to twelve. Mm. So yeah, we actually do get some twelves in, and actually, uh, our buyer, the owner, he's actually trying to get more twelves because it's obviously you know a need for big feet. <laughs> I'm one of them. I wear size 10 and 11, so I feel your pain, girl. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've been the marketing director. I've been working with Shoe Deal Incorporated for, I want to say, almost eight years now. It's been so long. Um, I've been working with them a long, long time and seen the brand grow over the years, seen them, you know, from one store on LBJ to now six in the DFW, you know, area. And um, we really have a cult following, so to speak, of just people who really, really love our shoes. So, yeah. And I, for you guys that are um, a little confused on when she said Fashion Nova of <laughs> shoes, that means that it's fast, fast fashion plus 10 mm-hmm. so if you see like a design on instagram that everybody is rocking and you know it's trendy most likely it will be in the store the very next day right that's how fast it is and um i was there yesterday and my friend actually had on a pair of boots that she purchased mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. shoe deal and i was Miss like Lachey. i didn't even know she got them from there oh you did it uh-uh yeah, she was rocking the mess out of them. She boots. was rocking the boots, <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, those are already gone. I was like, dang. Yeah, yeah, our turnover is really, really fast, because you're right. If you see something trendy and hot um, that's out in the streets, either shoe deal is getting it, or we have already had it, because literally, we could get a truck in on Tuesday, and everything off that truck can be gone by Thursday. It literally, our turnover is just that fast, and people know that. And on top of that, our prices yeah, are ridiculously, yeah, we was mm. ridiculously affordable. I mean, our shoes started six ninety seven and up, and you know now we're in boot season. I mean, our boots range from twelve ninety seven, and I think the highest boot we have in the store has been like thirty nine ninety seven. But that's really really rare for boots to be. I mean, 
that's got to be a kick ass boot for it to be thirty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It has to be like a, a feathered boot. Yeah. Or all the way up the leg boot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most likely with different textures. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for the most part, um shoe deal is very affordable. Like very affordable. You wanna stay trendy, um, you wanna stand out, you definitely need to go to shoe deal to pick up your shoes. So let's talk about retail because mm. We've noticed that a lot of retailers are closing. filing, they yeah. are either closing or they filing a bankruptcy. <clears throat> what do you think is happening in the re- retail industry for um, these companies to be filing short? Well, number one, the buyers, you know, the customers are smarter. Mm-hmm. I really, I have to start with that. Customers are smarter. Um, you know, online is killing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, online shopping, Amazon, uh, yeah, places like Fashion Nova, you know, uh, other online retailers, they're killing the game. It's so much cheaper to, you know, have products in a warehouse somewhere, post a picture on a website and pull it from the stock instead of having brick and mortar stores, you know, paying employees, dealing with overhead, rent. Um, you know, there's a lot to having a brick and mortar store. There's a huge overhead to that. And you really can cut all that out by just going online. So it's a matter of, I really feel like the customers are smarter. They're a little bit more savvy. So back in the day, if you saw a shoe at DSW, you we will say about just five, 10 years ago. If I saw a shoe at DSW, I am not going to drive around to every single store, Payless, Shoe Deal, uh, Macy's, you know, all the major shoe retailers where you can find that shoe. I'm not going to drive around and try to look for that shoe because that is daunting, taxing, and costing me more money to probably just buy the shoe. Wasting gas. Yeah, wasting (laughs) gas, wasting time, you know what I mean? But now, if I see... A shoe is so so if I you know if so I see the DSW I'm not gonna drive around and look for this shoe I'm probably just gonna purchase the shoe right there in that store because just the idea of doing all of that is exhausting just to think about right but now if I see a shoe at DSW all I have to do is take a picture of the box scan the barcode <laughs> you know what I mean or type in the brand and the style and a plethora of retailers or online stores that sell that same shoe at the same price or probably cheaper, I can look that up in like 10 seconds right there in the middle of DSW. So that if they don't have my size, well, let me find out who else. Let me find out who does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I say our customers are smarter now, they know how to find what they want and they don't have to necessarily get it from that one specific store. And so if you're not... If you're not creating your brand or creating your marketing structure to atone for that, then you're losing out on money. You got a whole bunch of holes and all that money is seeping through and going to somebody else. 